I had a question pop up in my inbox the other day on Twitter. It said, the sheriff, how are you so great at girls? And I responded, well, young fellow, I have never met. It's as simple as this. There is a checklist of three things you need to be attractive to women. One, a good haircut. Two, you have to be 6'10". Not over, not under, 6'10". And three, you've got to resemble a young Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Now, obviously, I have all these three things. I am heavily romantically involved with a, a, a bunch of women. I'm like holding their hands. I'm kissing them on the cheek. But I thought I would put it. But the question got me wondering, I should help you fellow single people get women and men or whatever genders you are attracted to. I should help you guys because, you know, it's not so hard. Not everyone is 6'10 and resembles a young Dwayne Rock Johnson. And I was like, what are people doing wrong in dates? What's, what's, the, what's the thing that goes wrong in dates? And it's the awkwardness. It's the silence when you're eating a meal. It's the looking around for things to talk to. It's, it's talking about the weather. It's looking at your phone. All these things cause for an awkward date. There's a show over here in the UK called First Dates where people go on first dates. And nine times out of 10, it's really cute. They normally like each other. They somehow are like extremely similar. Like I have no idea how many people sign up for this show, but it's crazy how many of them seem like they're going to be happy forever. But there's always the one out of the 10. There's always the one that's awkward. And so we're going to look at one of these awkward dates and I will tell you everything that goes wrong. And I'll tell you how to avoid these things. But mainly we're just going to laugh at these people, you know, make a fool of themselves. This is Lucy. Part-time nanny, part-time weightlifter. Whoa! Lucy's a keeper! She's like... Dwayne The Rock Johnson meets... My dad, Dwayne Johnson. Now, obviously, Lucy might, won't be intimidating to someone like me, in, you know, with my posture. But, uh, you know, maybe some smaller guys, some not-so-strong guys. She might be a bit intimidating. But then she's got, you know, the caring side of, of her, her, her life, the nanny. And that might not be as, as intimidating to, to people. So I think she, Lucy is a good, a good woman, a good mix of a woman. I'm excited to meet her. I'm more excited to meet her date. Let's get into it. I wouldn't say I'm sweet. I think I'm sweet, but in a naughty way. <laughs> oh, I'm never doing that again. And so that's good. You know, she's opening up a bit about herself. I guess not to the person, just to a camera. Um, but she's sweet in a naughty way. So, you know, little little rude jokes. You know, I like it. I like it. Lucy, I'm in love with you. I turn everything into a sexual induendo. In your endo. <laughs> in induendo. In induendo. Oh, it's bad. Okay, so this is my snatch. She's did she just... Did she just say this is my snatch? <laughs> Isn't that a word for a vagina? <laughs> I'm Googling this. Yeah, snatch is... is slang for vagina. And this... This is my snatch. <laughs> God, I'm never lifting this again. Thank you. I would really love somebody that is interested in Olympic weightlifting, or even if we've got the gym in common, that would be great if they've got their own thing. I was going to say, um, no man is interested in Olympic lift weighting. Perfect. Well, I'm asking, how, tall, how tall are you? Four foot 11. See? Four foot 11. You think a, a simple 5'2 is going to suffice? No, you need a 6'10. You need nearly two feet above this bit. I mean, above this woman. <laughs> Where do you want me? How do you want me? Okay, you stay there. Yeah. Pose! <laughs> See, that's... That's not normal. It's the, it's the date, the bartender. Mind blown! Plot twist! But I don't think this is where the awkwardness ends. We're just getting into it. 
hoping to be swept off her feet is hopeless romantic Caroline. She's a lesbian. I feel bad for for all the for just assuming she was uh, straight. I apologise. All she's bisexual. It doesn't matter. I I will now direct all my jokes to vaginas. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm looking for a girl that wants a relationship. You know, wants that to develop into something. That's what I want. If I'm honest, you you don't look like a girl who's interested in Olympic lift waiting. Hi, I'm Lucy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You too. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thanks. How are you? Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm free. Three goods mean that she's not that good. I'm more nervous than I thought I'd be. <laughs> I was nervous. I so thought I was going to be first here. <laughs> so competitive, like, <laughs> going to be first. <laughs> no, I'm more nervous. No, I am. Look, people, you don't want to admit you're nervous. It's cute. Don't, don't get me wrong. This is adorable, OK? This is like a puppy meeting a hedgehog, then becoming best friends, the hedgehog inevitably dying, and then the puppy crying at its funeral. That's how adorable this is. But there are, there are going to be some people that get a bit too weirded out with how nervous you are. You've got to show some confidence. So, what, so do you do anything like, are you a gym goer? Oh, nice. So Lucy, or whatever her name was, uh, was, was sliding in the whole gym question. Uh, you know, do you go to the gym? Oh, 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 do you? Oh, nice. She was, uh, you know, that's one of her things that she wants. At least a gym goer, she said. So <laughs> usually on dates, I will challenge a girl to an arm wrestle because I'm deceptively strong. Oh my God, I love you. I, love, I can't even say that. Run. Believe it or not, right? I feel like it's about to get even awkwarder up in here. Awkwarder? Awkwarder? Awkwardia? Or... It's gonna get really fucking awkward. <laughs> Lucy, <laughs> I'm sure that I can lift you. Oh God. <laughs> I mean, I think this oh, is funny. usually what we're, happens. We're like things. anything for women. <laughs> okay, so like, like here. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like an awkward first kiss. Like, okay, so it's like here. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh, that worked. <gasps> your, your top's broke. And. Her top breaks. Fuck. I cannot, I, I like genuinely, I don't know what I would do if I was in this position. It would be one of the scariest things imaginable, especially if I had boobs. I don't have boobs and even I'm scared to take my top off, right? I have boobs, okay, I, okay, just fucking, I have pecs, they're called pecs. You can't be a 6'10 and resemble a younger Wayne Rock Johnson without pecs. It's actually, it's actually, it's actually, oh my god, wait, oh my god, oh my, oh my god, we've got an emergency here. We need assistance. Okay. Well, she needs, uh, <laughs> look, this is not the best thing, yeah? Be this fucking guy, Pierre, or whatever his name is, you know, because he's French. Okay, let's call him Le Baguette. Le Baguette over here. Should have just given his fucking blazer. She could have taken. She, she could have given it back at the end of the day. Le baguette, I am disappoint. Je m'appelle disappoint. Oh, Absolutely God. fine. Do you want me to break something of mine? And then we're no, 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 don't do that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, break your um, break your whole skirt. <laughs> she just goes. She gets really fucking mad. Yeah, break your fucking neck. I can't believe you've done this. But that was um one of the the awkwarder dates. That has been on the show, First Dates. Uh, thank you for them for allowing me to make this video. They didn't. It's, I just watched it anyway. And they're probably going to claim it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you did like, you know, like for love, guys. Press that like button for love. Subscribe for love. Um, and to see more of this young Dwayne The Rock Johnson face. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out.